I'm Mike and I'm Gavin and it is a beautiful fall day here in Indiana and as Randy talked about last week nothing better to finish off a perfect hike than to have the perfectly roasted marshmallow on your s'more so we wanted to lay out just a few basic ground rules for how to roast the perfect marshmallow and before we get involved in that we just want to say that patience is key And so it doesn't always work out well for me, but uh, it's one of the things that definitely works out better as it relates to roasting marshmallows. Now, uh, there are some dangers to be considered if you don't have patience. We don't want a big roaring fire to start. Yeah, that's not what we want to roast marshmallow on. We want a nice, calm fire. So this is not what we want right here. So if you're trying to roast a marshmallow on a roaring fire like that, you're going to end up being one of these people that tries to convince yourself that a burnt charcoal briquette is what you actually like to eat. It's the way I like them. I like them like this. When they're burnt, they're my favorite. Yum, yum. All right, so that's definitely not the person you want to be. Trust me. <coughs> Speaking personally. That's not who you want to be. And you don't also want to be the person that uh, freaks out. You never know what's going to happen when your marshmallow catches on fire and you just kind of spaz out. So, lesson to be learned. If your marshmallow catches on fire, it is not the end of the world. And use marshmallow sticks, you know, carefully. Okay, I think the fire has probably died down sufficiently now that we can begin roasting our marshmallow. So let's head out to the fire pit and we'll get, a roast, get our marshmallow roasted. Also, for this, we want to be scientific about this. So we've actually brought in a taste test expert in the field of roasted marshmallows to determine if we do indeed have a perfectly roasted marshmallow. So we'll head out to the fire pit and we'll go ahead and roast a marshmallow now and see what we, the expert has to say. All right, so we got our fire down where we want it. We don't want a roaring fire. We just want a nice bed of coals. Actually still got some wood on there, but I've raked it off to where I've just got the coals on the side. So we're just gonna start slowly roasting our marshmallow over the coals. Already see the outside of it beginning to bubble there. We don't have those open flames so we don't get our, catch our marshmallow on fire. Just kind of brown it to where the going on outside there and get one there and now it's starting to actually get warm enough on the inside that it's starting to turn on the marshmallow stick so we're just about there nice and soft on the inside and now we have All right, so we've got our perfectly roasted marshmallow here, ready for our taste test expert. She's here and ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and give it to her and see what she has to say about it. Here you go, sweetie. Oh yeah, how's that? Oh yeah, is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Oh my goodness, that's good. It's finger licking good, to be sure. All right. Do we have an approval? Is it good? That's good. All right, there you are, folks, the perfectly roasted marshmallow. Sweet be approved. All right, there you have it. Beautiful fall day. We've just finished our hike. We headed out. We had a perfectly roasted marshmallow. Now all we need is uh, some graham crackers and, and uh, chocolate to put it on. Or our favorite is personally a Reese's peanut butter cup in place of a piece of chocolate. That's our favorite. So until next time, be safe and get outdoors.